Today we're we are here to announce uh, and extend an invitation uh, based on uh, His Excellency Prime Minister Abiy's uh, invitation to second generation uh, Ethiopians in the diaspora. The theme of uh, this invitation is back to your origins. Uh, this message is uh, crafted to help second generation Ethiopians uh, connect back to their origins, their ancestral back, uh, their ancestral homeland, and also uh, to help them explore their culture, their history, and give back to uh, their place of origins. As you know, uh, Prime Minister Abi has been extending uh, this invitation to Ethiopians and uh, Ethiopians in the diaspora since he assumed office. Because of that, there were a number of initiatives that were created. Uh, it is uh, just in the past few uh, years, we have had a number of initiatives. Uh, you can remember uh, the one million diaspora uh, to uh, Ethiopia in 2014 is a far away memory. So uh, with the same token, this invitation is an extension of the invitation that was made to the Ethiopians in the diaspora uh, as a whole. But now our focus this time is on second generation Ethiopians because we have to uh, focus on this generation, uh, and we have to connect this generation to the homeland as well. As you know, uh, generations uh, would come and pass, uh, but country uh, remains. Because of this, we have to uh, give the button to the second, the, the next generation of Ethiopians, uh, both at home and uh, abroad. So because of this, this invitation is extended to the second uh, generation Ethiopians. Uh, so Prime Minister Abiy has made a call uh, in general to the second generation Ethiopians. And to make it successful, we have divided this invitation into uh, three phases. The first phase of this invitation is uh, connect to your multicultural roots and this uh, program or this first phase is uh, supposed to take place from December uh, 2023 to the beginning of uh, February 2024. In this first round of the program, uh, we would help the second, the second generation Ethiopians to explore their multicultural roots. We will do this uh, using several initiatives and several events that are intended to uh, show multicultural Ethiopia. One of this initiative, as you know, is the Ethiopian Week. Uh, the Ethiopian Week would explore uh, Ethiopia from different angles, from different sides. One of this is through uh, the food. Uh, as you know, Ethiopian food is famous for many reasons, and the diversity of the food is uh, one way of expressing uh, the multicultural, uh, the, the colorful Ethiopia and the multicultural uh, roots of Ethiopia. Uh, in addition to uh, food, we will explore uh, dressing styles as well. Uh, the dressing styles of Ethiopia vary from place to place, so we will also uh, explore that through cultural costume shows. In addition to that, uh, Sound of Ethiopia and the cultural dance performances will showcase the different, uh, the, the vibrant culture of Ethiopia in every corner. So we will also uh, make use of that. In addition to that, we will explore uh, the different uh, cultural heritages in different parts of uh, the country. Uh, in this, uh, uh, different regions and city administrations will also uh, take part. So this Ethiopian week uh, will uh, capture uh, Ethiopia uh, in a different light so that they know their, their uh, multicultural roots and they take pride uh, of uh, this route. 
So uh, the main advantage and the main outcome that is expected uh, from this first phase is uh, to help Ethiopians, uh, the second generation Ethiopians, uh, connect to their diverse uh, culture, uh, their, di their traditions, uh, customs, and establish uh, social and psychological ties with the homeland or with their uh, ancestral uh, homeland. Uh, doing this would uh, lay the foundation for the second generation Ethiopian to take pride in their origin, and also it will lay a foundation in uh, the contribution that they may do uh, in the future. So, uh, Apart from the Ethiopian week, there will be visit programs to different regions, to uh, uh, different tourist attractions. Uh, these visit programs will be uh, facilitated by the private sector, as well as by regions and city administrations. There will also be uh, cultural, uh, there, will, there will also be conferences and public lectures uh, that would uh, showcase uh, the different, uh, the rich uh, cultural uh, heritages that uh, uh, we Ethiopians have. In the second phase or in the second round, uh, the specific team is to uh, connect to uh, their history. So the specific team we are going to use is uh, connect to your historical roots. As you know, uh, Ethiopia is an ancient nation with a very long history. And uh, it is not only having a very long history. Ethiopia is also historical in a sense that our fight against colonialism and the contribution that uh, we have contributed to the fight against colonialism uh, and our contribution to Pan-Africanism is also a very important, uh, a very important uh, lesson can be taken uh, from that, and it can also be a source of pride uh, for second generation Ethiopians. We Ethiopians are very proud uh, people, so we have a very long history. They can explore this history, they can take a lesson from it, and they can use that as a stepping stone uh, to uh, contribute uh, in the future. So in this case, there would be a number of key initiatives that will be announced in the future. Uh, most of the key initiatives would be related to uh, our victory uh, of Adoa uh, and also our contribution to Pan-Africanism, our fight against colonialism and the like as well. So this will create feeling of patriotism, uh, but feeling of patriotism cannot be uh, limited to a fight against uh, you know, uh, an enemy but it also uh, can be uh, in different sectors as well. So in this sense, uh, we will also uh, highlight and have initiatives that showcase patriotism in different sectors as well. It could be in fight against poverty or in contribution, uh, extraordinary contribution to uh, science and technology and the like. So those events will be announced uh, in the future since we have some time for uh, that second round, that would start uh, at the end of February. The, send, the third round is once they reconnect uh, with their roots, with their cultural roots, once they discover uh, their history uh, and they re-engage, then the third phase is to help them give back. So uh, in the third round, uh, we have a specific team of uh, leave your legacy and sever your holiday. So uh, in this phase, we expect uh, second generation Ethiopians to come and uh, connect to uh, not only to their history and culture, but also to explore further and to give back uh, by getting involved in the different initiatives that we have. So in this third round, uh, there are a number of uh, signature initiatives that, have, uh, that, uh, uh, that uh, we, we uh, always uh, have during uh, this break time. So the Green Legacy is one. 
apart from Green Legacy, they can uh, take part in different initiatives. It could be in a skill transfer, uh, in summer camp, it can also be uh, in uh, the other initiatives of uh, uh, helping the poor with uh, different activities. So this third initiative is uh, about leaving legacy. So in these three initiatives, uh, so the, this third round is from uh, mid of mid June to uh, almost end of September. So uh, these initiatives in these three rounds are uh, designed in a way uh, they can have a taste of their uh, uh, what their homeland could be and uh, to help them uh, find out. Uh, for themselves what the real Ethiopia is and then get engaged. So uh, to just make this successful, there are uh, different committees that are established. Uh, the main committee is led by the uh, Ministry of Tourism and uh, there are several uh, federal institutions and uh, regional and city administrations that are part of this main committee. Apart from the main committee, there are uh, subcommittees that would help us uh, uh, make their stay uh, memorable uh, and successful. The first, the first one is the uh, the first committee subcommittee is visits and events. So this subcommittee uh, would streamline all the different events and uh, all the different visit programs that are proposed by the private sector by uh, regions, city administrations, and by the federal government uh, for easy access uh, and for uh, ease of uh, coordination as well. So, so this uh, uh, subcommittee is led by the Ministry of Tourism. Uh, the second one is uh, the Welcoming and the Protocol Subcommittee. Uh, this subcommittee uh, is the main task of this subcommittee is to extend a warm welcome to second generation Ethiopians uh, to, feel, uh, to make them feel at home and uh, to uh, make them feel welcomed. And uh, it's going to facilitate uh, several things that are related with uh, immigration, customs, and uh, related issues as well. So this subcommittee is chaired by uh, Ministry of uh, Foreign Affairs. The Peace and Security Subcommittee is led by the Federal Police, and this subcommittee is going to coordinate with uh, federal uh, institutions and also regional uh, peace and security uh, institutions uh, for, uh, to ensure the safety of uh, all visitors during this period. The Media and uh, Communication Subcommittee is chaired by uh, the press secretariat office of the prime minister and this subcommittee would streamline all information uh, for easy uh, for ease of access and uh, would uh, update the second generation diaspora through uh, different mediums and also uh, for uh, journalists as well uh, finally uh, volunteerism subcommittee would be chaired by uh, diaspora services and uh, as uh, some of you pointed out, most of the time when second generation diaspora or uh, diaspora, uh, Ethiopians in the diaspora, when they return home, they want to give back, they want to contribute uh, uh, in different ways. Uh, so we have to streamline that as well and we have to connect them to uh, areas they want to uh, connect to and they want to uh, give voluntary service to. So this is also uh, established to uh, make it easy for them to give back and to contribute as well. So uh, in the coming future, these subcommittees will also give press briefings to, uh, to update you on where they are uh, in terms of preparation and in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, 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 the events and the other things the, that is planned for for this uh, program so if you have questions we will entertain few questions as well